So ever since the release of the Oculus Rift DK1, VR has been this, like, technological, just cool thing out there that, for, for games that... It's been mostly reserved to, you know, reviewers for copies because the DK1 wasn't, as far as I know at least, wasn't retail, um, actually by able to be purchased. And it's always been, oh, well, that's so cool. I, w- I would like that, but I can't get one because they're not really sold. And then fast forward what seems like 10 years later, we have the Oculus Rifts, uh, now actually the DK2, and I want to say it's like the CK1 or something like that, who even knows anymore with Oculus, is actually able to be purchased retail along with the HTC Vive as well. For the high end, good gaming VR experiences. But what about cheaper? solutions because the with the HTC Vive it's $800 the uh the Oculus Rift being like $500 it's not exactly realistic for the normal person that's where the Samsung Gear VR comes into play now the Gear VR is not the good VR with you know the controllers and you move around and everything's tracked properly and like beautifully and your movements everywhere uh, matter with the game and like you you have a bunch of really cool like shooters and you know anything that you can use the controllers for this is what a lot of people are referring to as simple vr it's you can get it you can get a game pad with it get a little bit better games uh which are a little bit closer to the oculus rift but the main thing that th- what this thing thrives on is move a cursor press a button style games and also vr videos uh, a lot of the videos are free in the Oculus Store, but the games, on the other hand, do tend to cost a couple bucks. But, upside, a couple bucks. Like, the most expensive game that I saw on there was like $10, and uh, I have one, Deep Web, that it's like a computer hacking style game uh, that is, if you're into puzzle games, stuff like that, very addicting. Very addicting. It's ten dollars, which is not expensive for a game, and especially one that you can get hours upon hours upon hours of game time out of. And I will say from personal experience, because I've had this thing for about a week, week and a half, two weeks or so, and some somewhere around there. And I've spent out of like probably six or seven hours in that game alone, let alone my own time in other videos, other games. And also, like, actually letting other people play with this. So, I got not only my personal reaction out of it, but I also got other people's reactions that have either used or have never used a VR headset before. And I will say, I'm unfortunately unable to have gotten video because I would have gotten it with my phone, which, that is one of the drawbacks of this uh, VR headset. You have to have... Shoot... Um, there's a dot, there's a dial thing. You have to have one of the Gear VR accepted smartphones, all from Samsung. Uh, there's like six of them, I believe. The S, the S6 line, the S7 line, and Note 5. There's six phones, because there's, you know, the, like the S6 Plus, or the S6 Edge, and the S7 Edge. Those all work with this. Any other phone? Sorry. You're out of luck. Uh, maybe... Something will be released later that it's compatible with your phone. Most likely not, but Samsung had a promotion. You know, I'm not. Ta- I'm not going to talk about that too much because that's whatever. Uh, but for the people that have never played Gear, v- like have never played VR before, no VR at all. Stuck them in some videos. Stuck them in some games, and the response was phenomenal. Only a couple people like actually got kind of kind of woozy a little bit motion sickness is a thing in vr uh it's something to worry about well it's something to be mindful of i wouldn't say worry about but for the most part everybody loved it and actually there were a good few people that were like hey and like reaching out and like talking to the game showing that it is i mean it's not the most immersive experience but it's actually relatively immersive so pros and cons pros it is cheap. It is pretty cheap. At launch, it was $100 for the headset. And if you got a phone with a promotion, 
Uh, you'd get a phone for relatively cheap, and this was free. Free! I got this for free, which is awesome. Another pro is it is simple to use. There's no wires, there's no tether to it, it runs off the phone's battery, and it's very actually convenient. It's not hard, you can literally just pop this off, put a phone in here, snap it into place, you're ready to go. And it's not too bad of an an experience for what it is. There are some cons though. Con one is, dear sweet goodness, this thing sucks on battery. Like it sucks your phone's battery like you wouldn't believe. Now there is a charging port on the machine itself, that little slit, but then that introduces a tether, which this style of VR, you kind of don't want to tether Especially when it's going to really limit your uh, your range of mobility. Another con is the resolution. You're on a phone. It's not going to be like 2K or 4K, obviously. I mean, VR headsets in general aren't there yet. But the resolution, especially with like real shot, like real life shot videos, does kind of ruin the immersion. Now, if you're going to do something like... Um, Colossae or Colossi or whatever I think that it's Colossae um I'll be putting videos in of the of actual VR videos in during this so you can see it's not the greatest resolution but it's actually not bad the Colossae actually is really good with the art style it doesn't really it's not really dampered by the low resolution so it's not that bad for that but Real life shot stuff. It's not the greatest with the resolution. Also, limited selection in games. Currently, the game selection isn't the greatest, and some of the good games require the gamepad. Like I said, there was the uh, Dark Net that I really enjoyed. There's a Snake uh, game that it's like you're in the inside of a dome, not a dome, like a sphere. And you play Snake on that. It's free. And it was actually enjoyable. Little disorienting sometimes. But enjoyable for the most part. Um, So. What I would have to say. Final thoughts on the entire machine. 100 bucks was a little steep. At launch price. But currently. I was looking around. And on Newegg. They're $75. Which is. Personally, I'm a little bit of, I wouldn't really, I would spend 70 max. Like my, like with this machine, that $5 would be the breaking point on buying it or not buying it. I've seen some people, you can get them factory refurbished for like 60 bucks. Beautiful. I would go with that. 60 bucks would be fantastic for this. This would be great of a, well, you would like to play some VR, but you don't want to spend all that money. Or you would like to play VR. You have the money, but you're not sure if you're going to get motion sick or anything like that. So you'd really just want to test the waters. You want something simple. Maybe for like, if you got kids and you want kids to play around with it. Uh, th- Cause there's some cool videos that some of the people that I let play were uh, a fam, a family friend, and their kids, their kids loved it, loved the ever living crap out of this. And that'd be something for them to really enjoy. So that would be another use for this. So that's the, that's the two that I can really think of. That would be really, really good for this for you. 60, 70 bucks. Good. Grab it. If you have a phone that works with this thing, go ahead and get one. Unless you're really not caring about VR. Um, so that's my thoughts on the Gear VR headset. It's the lighting changed because of my monitors, by the way. My monitors kind of went out. Um, so anyway, Gear VR, I would give it my recommendation for 70 or less. 70 or less, grab one if you have one of the phones, obviously. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, you thought it was informative or it helped you out on a decision to purchase this, go ahead and leave me a like. Uh, if you thought I sucked at this whole review thing, because this isn't normally what I do, I guess, uh, go ahead and leave me a dislike. I'll be okay with it. But if you do leave me a comment, tell me what, what you didn't like about it. And I will see you guys in in another video then later guys.